Well, hi there, it's Reverend Tim Cutsmark here at the Unitarian Universalist Church in Fresno, California. And I am sitting smack dab in the middle of our office conference room, which pre-pandemic was where our middle school youth group would meet each Sunday, hence the bulletin board behind me. And I decided to, to speak to you from here because when I was walking through the room today, I realized that two of my favorite spiritual symbols are on this bulletin board behind me. The first is whoop, the butterfly. Um, I love how the butterfly is a symbol of transformation. The, um, that, that liminal moment where you move from one form or one way of being into something else. And it's not even that it goes from a larva to a butterfly that's important. It's that there is this transformation from one form of life to another stage in life. And uh, I think it's a wonderful reminder that we are all growing and changing and evolving. Um, I know some spiritual traditions uh, teach it's, it's, it's about sort of getting to this preordained point that somebody else has decided means that when you reach that criteria or have that understanding or have those beliefs, it means you have arrived. In Unitarian Universalism, we look at our spiritual lives as a spiritual journey. We're always evolving, shifting, changing. Our beliefs grow and deepen and change through time. I sometimes think that if I believe exactly at age 25 what I believe at age 50 and believe at age 75, then it means that I haven't grown, shifted, deepened, and changed. And so that butterfly for me is a spiritual symbol of the ever morphing nature of a, and what I would say is an authentic spiritual life. The other symbol that uh, uh, I love is, see, I'm everything when you record is flipped and reversed, so it's hard to point with the right finger. But there it is, the flaming chalice. That was drawn by one of our middle school youths. And of course, the flaming chalice is a symbol of Unitarian Universalism. And there's many ways to, to understand that symbol. But uh, this past Sunday, when I lit this, the chalice in our, our Sunday service, I mentioned that we are literally surrounded where our alluvial avenue campus is we're literally surrounded by mega churches and for them fire is the you know they they teach and speak about the fires of hell the eternal damnation it's a it's a fire that that uh, burns and hurts and tortures for all eternity uh in in that that uh evangelical Christian teaching. Um, for us, the flame is not a flame of damnation and punishment, but it's a flame of life and of love. So when we kindle the flame within Unitarian Universalism, we're reminding one another that that, that love burns at the center of our being, that for some of us, it's the spark of the divine. It's the, the fire of reason that lets us use our minds to discern for ourselves what is true. And the chalice contains that fire. It holds it. I often think of it as two cupped hands reaching out to receive the blessings of the universe and in our chalice it's the blessings of that warmth of community and that warmth and light of love and so here in our office conference room two spiritual symbols the butterfly representing transformation deepening and change and the chalice a symbol of unitarian universalism representing a fire that does not destroy or torture or punish, but a fire that lights our way in this journey towards love. Bye-bye.